Hello everyone and welcome to a very nice game from round 9 of the 2019 US Championship. Uh, it's a game between Ray Robson and Hikaru Nakamura. Nakamura is in the lead currently and uh, well he does have the black pieces so uh, he's facing a younger, a lower rated opponent. Uh, how will he deal with this game and what opening will he choose? It's uh, a, a very interesting um, uh, concept uh, if you will. Uh, but before we get to that, and uh, it really is a wonderful game, uh, I would just like to invite everyone to check out the first link in the description below. Uh, it's a trailer for the Grand K Chess Classic uh, tournament uh, created by the Grand K Chess uh, video team. Uh, they've contacted me and they uh, said that if I will be covering any games from the Grand K Chess Classic, uh, that I'm more than welcome to use their uh, both video and uh, uh, well, both uh, footage and photos uh, from uh, from the event, so we can all enjoy some nice uh, photos of, of all the participants, which I think is uh, always uh, not the most important, but, but a really important part. So you not only see the board, the moves, but you also get the, the feel for the entire event. And, uh, well, if you're new to the chess world, you'll also learn who is who, uh, you know, how the... Uh, <laughs> Who drinks what during a chess game and all the uh, all the nice ideas? Who dresses uh, uh, how for a chess game, uh, and and so on. Uh, uh, so I, I think it's very nice for the, uh, of them to contact me uh, and offer me uh, such uh, uh, such courtesies. And uh, I would uh, I would like to invite everyone to check out the trailer they've created for for their Grand Chess Classic tournament. Uh, it's really nice, uh, really top tier footage of, of all the top players, uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Do check it out, like I said, first link in the description below, you will enjoy it. Uh, I, I enjoyed it myself uh, several times, in fact, and uh, you know, feel free to, to give it a like, a comment, and, and everything that follows. Uh, that being said, uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, well, if you have, you are an excellent uh, watcher of trailers for chess tournaments. Uh, let's get back to the game. So, Ray Robson versus Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, 2019 US Championship uh, uh, Robson opens with E4 and okay Nakamura goes for C5 sorry about that uh, the Sicilian defense is on the board <clears throat> uh, we have Knight to F3 D6 and D4 just uh, normal standard stuff uh, you do when you face the Sicilian defense uh, Knight to F6 by Hikaru Knight to C3 and here is where it uh, becomes interesting uh, Nakamura goes G6 and we enter the dragon variation of the Sicilian uh, which is something uh, well uh, not everyone uh, dares to play against uh, well against the grandmaster when grandmaster plays with the white pieces as uh, as uh, Bobby Fischer often said it's it's too easy to play this for white you will just play f3 g4 h4 h5 uh, and crush black well we'll see what happens in this game uh, Robson continues with bishop to e3 the standard idea preparing queen to d2 to challenge black's dark square bishop uh, we have bishop to g7, Nakamura fianchettos the bishop, prepares the castle, and now we have f3, preparing the Yugoslav attack. Uh, we have castles by Nakamura, queen to d2, now this powerful queen-bishop barrier is ready to, to do the trade-off. Uh, we have knight to c6, and now bishop to c4. Uh, we have bishop to d7, uh, queenside castle by white, and now rook to b8, preparing to push on the queen side. Uh, we have bishop to b3, not allowing b5 to come with an attack on the bishop. Uh, and not knight to a5 with ideas of trading off the knight for this very strong light square bishop. Uh, we have bishop to h6, and here Nakamura immediately trades off the dark square bishop. In some lines you will want to wait until white captures on g7, uh, but here uh, if you play a slow move then white will definitely start pushing with h4, and if b5 uh, then just captures, captures, and well h5 is coming, you are already threatening to exchange and infiltrate with the queen. Uh, so here Nakamura immediately trades it off, bishop captures, uh, we have queen captures on h6, and now b5, starting uh, an expansion of his own on the queen side. Uh, knight to d5, uh, we have knight captures on b3, first getting rid of it with check, knight captures and now e5. Uh, now after the knights are traded off, which they are, we have captures with check, Nakamura recaptures, also the queen now guards the d6 pawn, uh, and here, there, uh, this has all been played before. I mean, the dragon has been played for for many years, and there are a lot of games in the database. There is one game in the database where uh, rook to d3 was played with ideas of f4 and bringing this rook over to h3. So a nice rook lift. But in this game, Robson goes for h4 immediately, wants to push uh, and bust open the king side, and it's. Um, uh, only as of this move, uh, from move 17, that we have now a completely new game. Uh, so, okay, Nakamura goes rook to b6, uh, bringing further defense to the 
to the d6 pawn also this rook can now enter the game uh, and perhaps uh, a doubling of rooks on the c file may occur uh, with h5 white starts uh, well trying to bust open the king side using this pawn that is often called a ram in in chess well as you use it to bust open uh, the door to the king's castle and now queen to e7 the best defense now when pawn captures uh Nakamura recaptures with the f pawn and now the queen guards the h7 pawn. So here it's not really clear how will white increase the pressure here. If you try something like a rook to h4, bring the other rook over to h1. Yes, you can triple on the h file, but just rook f7 keeps everything in check. Unless you find a way to bring the knight into the game, you're not, not gonna have a successful attack here. And Nakamura is definitely ready with uh, uh, to push his own pawns on the queen side. So here Robson goes back. We have queen to e3. Uh, preventing the pushing of the pawn because the queen now eyes the rook on the b6 square. Uh, so first, bishop to e6 by black. Uh, we have uh, rook h to f1 now, preparing f4, and now comes rook to c6. Now uh, Nakamura shifts uh, the attention of the rooks towards the c-file, uh, where the king is situated. Uh, we have f4 by white, and now comes queen to c7 with threats of rook captures on c2. Uh, we have rook to d2 by white, uh, defending the, the c2 pawn, and now comes a5. Now Nakamura finally is ready to push. Uh, king to b1, uh, getting the king away from the c file, but also making room for the knight on c1. Uh, we have a4 by black, knight to c1 now, and now b4. Preparing ideas like b3 or a3, depending on wh how white uh, proceeds. And now comes rook d to f2, which is, um, well, it's... Uh, Interesting idea, but uh, this rook is uh, pretty much stuck guarding the c2 pawn, so it's not all that clear what good it will do on the, uh, on the f file. Uh, but okay, Nakamura captures, we have e captures on f4, rook captures on f4, and now not immediately, of course you cannot capture due to rook captures on f8. First Nakamura goes rook to c8, triples on the c file. And now it's not all that clear how you will defend the c2 pawn. Uh, if you try something like knight e2 with ideas of after rook captures you go knight d4 and well, you hope to pick up the bishop. Uh, not really going to work because bishop to c4 just switches the attention towards the rook. And now after knight captures you will capture with the bishop and white will not be able to recapture if you recapture. You get uh, captures here after king a1, black is very close to uh, to a winning position, but you know, in, 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 in hands of Nakamura, surely it would be uh, most likely a, a winning game. Uh, so, after rook to c8, uh, Robson tried rook to f6. He says, okay, you can take my c2 pawn, I'm gonna grab your bishop. Uh, and uh, Nakamura decides, okay, you can have my bishop. He plays rook captures on c2. Uh, so, uh, a peace sacrifice, but you know, it will... Uh, bring uh, a lot of activity towards the black. Uh, we have rook captures on e6, uh, white accepts the peace sacrifice, and now Nakamura goes for queen to c4, uh, just attacking both of the rooks uh, and repositioning the queen, uh, so uh, the queen will now be closer to the white king. Uh, we have rook e to f6 now, uh, both rooks now guard each other, but now comes a3, and it's a um, uh, already a very dangerous position. Nakamura is down a piece, uh, but if you just play a, let's say, a slow move, uh, queen h6, it's not a slow move, but already you're threatening a rook to f8, which will follow with checkmate. Uh, black uh, can black can win this game because black has a nice forced checkmate, but, uh, you know, it's a nice complicated position. Feel free to pause the video and try to find this uh, winning idea, which, of course, did not happen in the game. I'll give you a couple of seconds to decide whether you want to do it or not. For those of you who were able to do it, congratulations, you are an excellent winner of positions that have not occurred in the game. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, rook captures some b2, that's the idea. And after king to a1, now you cannot capture here and deliver checkmate because notice that the queen and rook guard the, the knight on c1, so you cannot sacrifice the queen for checkmate. But what you can do is sacrifice the rook, rook b1 check, this is the move you had to find. Force the king to go here and now it's just queen c2 check, king moves and queen to b2 checkmate. So a very poisonous position after this a3 idea by Nakamura. So Robson decides to capture it. We have pawn captures and Nakamura recaptures. Now the b file also opens up uh, for black to use uh, uh, in, in his attack. Uh, and queen captures on a3 by Robson. So what do you play here? Uh, it's a very interesting position, so I will ask you to pause the video again and try to find how to continue the attack for black here. Uh, as this position did happen in the game. Uh, I'll give you a couple of seconds. For those of you who were able to do it, congratulations. You are an excellent winner of positions that have indeed occurred in the game. 
Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, not rook to b8 check. If you deliver this check, then the knight can simply cover up with knight to b3, and it's not uh, not all that clear how white will white will uh, how black will continue here. The move you had to find was rook captures on c1 with check. This is what Nakamura played. Uh, we have rook captures on c1 with an attack on the queen, and now comes queen captures on e4 with check. And now king to b2. Uh, you might think, okay, but why king to b2 while uh, queen e5 check to pick up the rook? The problem is if you go uh, king to a1, uh, then you get queen e5 check. Uh, queen, of course, will block, and now rook captures on c1 will be checkmate because the queen cannot capture, the queen is now pinned. Uh, so that's why Robson goes for king to b2. And now we have queen e5 check, rook blocks, and now first before recapturing, rook to b8 check by Nakamura. Uh, king c2, and only now queen captures on f6. So now after everything is said and done, uh, you can see that Nakamura, even though he started this whole venture uh, with, a, with a peace sacrifice, he ended up being up a pawn. So not, definitely not bad. And the white's king is, uh, well, black's king isn't all that uh, safe either, uh, but white's king is, uh, well, very, very loose. Uh, so, okay, rook to f3 by Robson, we have queen to d4 now, uh, just a nice centralizing move, we have rook back to b3, uh, offering a trade of rooks, and now first queen to e4 check. We have king to c1, and now queen to e1 check, not queen to Ivanchuk, queen to e1 check, uh, as a lot of you do say that in the comments. Uh, king to c2, now queen e2 check, king to b1, and now, of course, queen d1 check, and now white will have to trade. If you go king b2, then rook c8, and you're getting checkmated very quickly. Uh, so here, uh, Robson had to trade. We have queen to c1, but now first you will grab yet another pawn. Uh, rook captures on b3 with check. Pawn captures, queen captures. Now, of course, you cannot trade queens because you are down in a, uh, in a king and pawn endgame. Being down two pawns uh, will be completely winning for black. So here, king to a1 was played. Queen a4 check, just uh, a few checks to get uh, where, where black wants to go, queen b5 check, king a1, and now queen c5 offers a trade of queens, white of course declines, we have queen to d2, and now h5. Uh, king back to b1, we have uh, king to g7, queen to b2 check, uh, we have queen to e5 blocking, again white has no option of, of trading queens. Uh, queen b7 check, we have king to h6, and now king to c1. Uh, we have d5 now, Nakamura starts pushing his pass pawn, king to d1, and now queen to e4. Uh, we have uh, queen to b2, now comes king to g5, uh, queen to d2 check, and now king to g4. And after queen to h6, here Nakamura just played g5, uh, and it was in this position on move 55 that Ray Robson resigned the game. Uh, why did he resign? There are no more... Uh, any any tricky moves, you, you can't really even hope for anything here, you are down two pawns, and, well, even one pawn in a queen and pawn endgame uh, is almost always winning for, for the other side uh, that has the extra pawn, but with two pawns it's it's never even a question. Uh, although, I don't know, if, if the roles were reversed, I'm sure Nakamura would continue this game and hope for a blunder or some sort of a super sneaky, tricky, I don't know... Uh, chess study position that might enter the books someday, uh, but not Robson. Robson decided that, uh, that it's be besides the point, and he just resigned here, uh, which was a very important victory for Hikaru Nakamura, as it was with the black pieces, and it's very brave of him to choose the Dragon Sicilian, which basically just uh, invites white to, to attack, to attack, to attack, which Robson did. Nakamura repelled the attacks successfully, and then he uh, started his counterattack, which was, uh, well, in this game, decisive. Uh, but uh, definitely a, a brave decision to go for the dragon. Uh, pretty much everyone won their games. I think only only Xiong um, drew to his game drew his game in, in round 9, so it was a really decisive round. Uh, uh, Karwan also won a, a very nice game using um, uh, the Dutch defense, so that, that was also a very nice game. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nakamura and uh, Linear Dominguez Perez... Uh, they are, are in the lead now after nine rounds. Caruana uh, follows uh, with six points. Uh, uh, Nakamura and uh, Dominguez are with six and a half, and the rest to follow. Uh, and today we have we have the clash of leaders. Nakamura will face Dominguez, and we will see who will take uh, take the lead here. Either one of them will, will win and then remain the the sole leader, or they might draw and then Caruana might get a chance to to overtake the lead. We'll see how it goes. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Once again, do check out the trailer for the Grand Kid Chess Classic. It's uh, really just wonderful. It will be, again, the first thing you will see in the description below. Do check it out. Uh, I'm sure you'll, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Andrew Drever, uh, Alex Robinson, Joseph D. Rober, uh, Barry McMurdock and Anton Kukushkin for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Uh, most likely with some of the games from the US Championship as the European Championship finished. And then before uh, Shamkir or Granke, we are definitely continuing the Capablanca saga. Uh, see where it takes us. Uh, thank you all and I will see you soon. Have an excellent rest of your Saturday.